starts at 5. Independence Day could be marking freedom from the pandemic this year. The CDC says if vaccinations continue at high rates and people wear masks, there should be a sharp decline in cases by July. Thank you so much for joining us on Cron 4 News at 5. I'm Vicki Liviakis. And I'm Grant Lotus. That's just two weeks after California plans to be fully reopened. Could that mean herd immunity is just around the corner? Cron 4's Dan Kerman, live in San Francisco tonight. With the latest, boy, Dan, we've been hearing about this herd immunity for more than a year now. Are we saying there's a good chance? Well, we're saying that we're getting closer, and especially San Francisco and the Bay Area is getting closer. Medical experts believe we are not there yet, but it could be just weeks, possibly months away. But it is in sight, they say. Not everyone is wearing a mask in San Francisco these days. That's due in part to the success the city has had against COVID-19. Hospitalizations are way down, as are cases. Restrictions have been eased, and the city is entering the yellow reopening tier this week. So could herd immunity be far behind? The concept of herd immunity is that there's a the, the proportion of the population that's immune, either through having been sick or having gotten the vaccine, is so high that the virus can't find the next susceptible host. It, it's just the people are too spaced out who are susceptible. And that provides population level immunity. UCSF epidemiology professor Dr. George Rutherford doesn't think San Francisco is there yet. And San Francisco's deputy public health director agrees. We still have some some ways to go, and again, we want to make sure that you know there's not um, pockets of places that you know where certain communities or certain age groups have not gotten vaccinated that would be very vulnerable to the disease. Right now, 73 percent of those eligible have been vaccinated in San Francisco, but herd immunity is typically 70 to 85 percent of the entire population. That will require a continued push to get vaccine to those with limited access, those who are vaccine hesitant, and eventually younger people who are not yet eligible. I could see San Francisco getting to something that looks like herd immunity in terms of having declining transmission, um, you know, in the next month or two. As for why San Francisco and the greater Bay Area has seen such success, medical experts point to residents' willingness to social distance, mask, and get vaccinated. People in the Bay Area do much better in general with those non-pharmaceutical interventions. And I think that plus the vaccination really puts us in a position exactly like we are right now. Now, of course, medical experts agree there are no guarantees. It all depends on the behaviors that we experience and what happens going forward week to week, day to day, month to month. But they do believe San Francisco and the Bay Area as a whole are certainly in a better position than much of the rest of the country. Live in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.